welcome. Let's provide answer to this question I received from a friend under uh, coordinate geometry 2. So a circle has a center A and a radius of 3. So the tangent to the circle at T passes through the origin O and uh, the length of OT, which is the length of the tangent, is given as 6 root 6. So given that the coordinate of the A, which is the center, is given as 9 and K, where K is a positive word, constant, where K is a positive constant, constant, okay? Find the value of that k and also find the equation of the circle. Okay, to start with, we, we know the center is A. It could be the origin. The center could be the origin of the plane. You know what I mean is that if we have a circle, a circle can have a center, which is if you are to place this circle into uh, XY plane, it could mean that the circle is drawn with the center be the origin of the xy plane where the center is also going to be zero zero so that is be the case when the circle is drawn with the center passing through the origin of the plane but here we have been told that the center is a and the value of a has been given nine and k simply means that the circle cannot pass through the plane in this form. It means the circle could be anywhere but with the center being the, uh, the origin. In another vein, it means that if you have the xy plane, the circle can be away from the center of the origin. What I mean is that the origin of the plane, the center could be here, right? So that we could be able to factor in this also. If we Listen to pass it to the origin. You know that there is no way you can have a tangent that will just pass through the, uh, the circle in this way. You see, this cannot be a tangent, it must be touching. So, in order to draw this very well, we are going to have the one we can easily draw is the center is A. Then let's just say from the center to any point on the circumference give us radius. And the radius has been given as what? 3. Now, where the, the radius touch the circle, that is where we are calling what? The T, the point where the tangent is going to pass. So the tangent can pass here from the first diagram I draw with the plane. You can see that our x1 plane can be here, as in this way, where we can have here being the origin of that plane. So it is from the origin that the tangent is passing. So it means the origin here is going to be 0, 0, which I've been told the origin is what? O. So here, I can indicate this point here as O. Where I know OT has been given as what? 6, the root of 4. 6. Right? But I can complete this diagram to have a triangle. And we know that a radius that is, uh, how do you call it? A tangent at a right angle. We draw this. Remember the radius that is a tangent. It starts that at what? A right angle triangle. So this becomes a right angle triangle where we can use the principles of uh, Pythagoras theorem to find the length of what? OA since we know 3 and we know here. The same vein, we can be able to find the, the value of K. So the use of the distance between A and O, which we know is going to have a point of 0, 0. We know we can also find the distance between the two points using the formulas we learn under coordinate geometry. Or we use Pythagoras theorem to find, using these two to find the, the, the magnitude 
of the length OA. So from there, using Pythagoras theorem, you can see that this is going to be the, the hypotenuse. So your OA squared should be equals to we have AT squared plus what? OT squared. And so in this, I can have my OA equals to the square root of AT. And where is the AT? The length is what? 3. So I'll be having 3 squared. Then OT is going to be 6 root 6 or squared. I believe we know that this will be giving us 9. You square the rational, which is 6 squared. That will be 36. You square the irrational, the square root will cancel, meaning 36 times what? 6. And that will be 200 and what? No? Yeah, 216. 36 times 6. That will give you 216. So we can compute this together to have our OA equals to the root of 200 and 25. In this case, 225 will be the value of what? OA. And OA is here. If you find the square root of this, you'll be having 15. That is using the Pythagoras theorem. We can also use finding the distance between two points. You know, if you are asked to find a distance between two points, given the coordinate, it's going to be, if I have OA or OA, if I'm asked to find the distance between this, the point that we are going to have your square root of x1 or x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared using the coordinate. Which means I'll be using the coordinate of O, which is 0, 0, the coordinate of A, which is 9 and K. So in that case, if I still want to bring back the, the square, since I'm having this value here, this is having the square root, I can decide to send the square on this. As in, squaring both sides, this will be OA square equals to 225. So in this case, I can decide to bring the square back on this. So that I'll be having only the subtraction. Right? Or let's just take our 15 and go. So this is going to be OA, which is the same as what? 15. So 15 is going to be equals to the square root of, let me take this to be my x1, then I'll go there as well x2. So I'll be having 9 minus 0 squared, x1, x2. Then I'll be having k minus 0 also squared. We know that 0 subtracting from 9 will still remain it to become what? 9. So in this case, we'll be having 15 equals to the square root of 81, which is 9 squared plus k squared. You know, k minus 0 is also k. So that will become k squared. But we are looking for the k. So we square both sides. That gives us 225 equals to 81 plus what? K squared. So this is the reason why I said we could just make here the OA squared equals to 225. So in here, the square root will come here as a square. So I'll be writing directly 225 equals to the subtraction without the square root. That would have amount to the same value. So we keep K and subtract. So I'll be subtracting 81 from both sides. So 81 here, 81 here, it becomes 0. So k squared. If you subtract 1 from here, you're having 24. So you're left with 20. If you subtract uh, 60 from there, 140. So you have 144 equals to k squared. Whereby we can find. The square root of 144 equals to the square root of k squared. k is going to be plus or minus what? 12.
But the question says that k is a positive value. So therefore, for the first part, your k is going to be what? 12. Alright. Now, to find the equation, we know in finding the equation of uh, a circle, if we're asked to find the equation of a circle, we know it is x minus a squared x minus b equals to r squared, where the r is the radius. In this case, they'll be given as what? 3. The a is the center of the, the a and b is the center of the circle. That's the center. So it means 9 and 12 will replace this. So the equation is going to be x minus a, which is 9 squared plus x minus b, which is now 12, equals to r squared. And that will be 3 squared to be 9. So this is the equation of this circle. We can leave it in this form or we can expand to have it in the x squared plus y squared 2g then 2fy plus c equals 0. We can also expand this further to have it in this form. Or better still, that becomes the equation of that circle. Thank you for watching. If you grab the concept, don't forget to share. Share with somebody who might need this. You might not need this, but somebody on your contact list may need this. Let them subscribe. Click on the notification bell for more notifications for new videos that will be uploaded. Leave a comment and God will bless you.